Hello again now before the forecast, here is Yolanda Finch, acting CEO of Melbourne Fashion Festival. Yolanda, what are the key trends we're expecting this season? Well, Jane, you're nailing it because the key trends are all about colour. Oh. I'm not. I'm going Melbourne tonight. But loads and loads of colour this season. And there's wonderful suiting as well for women, which is a really wonderful trend that I'm really, really enjoying. And it suits everybody and it makes you look so sharp. Mm. Love it, love it. Now some highlights of the next week and a bit for the fe festival. Well, the runways are always highlights of this festival. I think everyone knows we're famous for our runways. Uh, because of the d density limits lifting lately, we've still got tickets available. So we really hope to see everyone coming on down, <laughs> glamming up and joining us at the runway. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, let's go into the weather as we have significant rain on the way. It is arriving this weekend. But Melbourne was on storm watch this afternoon. A few popped up tracking southwards today. Now, local heavy falls, while most parts of Melbourne did miss out, with pockets of bright, warm and humid sunshine. The city reached 30 degrees and the high humidity makes it feel several degrees warmer. This morning had patchy, generally light rain left over from yesterday's heavier activity. That gradually cleared as the day went on when the hit and miss storms popped up. Far East Gippsland has some of New South Wales' rain coming in. The weather map shows us why it feels like Queensland here. The high to our south lets the wind pick up moisture from the Pacific Ocean before pushing it down to us. Meanwhile, Cyclone Annika crosses the Kimberley coast, creating a northwest cloud and rain band. Now that is Victoria's next major weather feature. The moisture from that cyclone will come here too, so it is extra humid and low pressure is set to deepen. So later Friday and on Saturday, we have significant rain crossing Victoria it goes from west to east. It is due in Melbourne in the early hours of Saturday. Now this will bring 20 to 60 millimetres widespread. That is significant rain for us, but nothing like what we've seen in the flooding up north. It's a month's worth, not a year's worth. Around the nation tomorrow, storms do return to Brisbane. It's heavy rain, but not widespread like last time. Sydney in the severe zone, another 100 to 150 millimetres, but tomorrow is the last day of it. Canberra, a bit of rain up to 15 millimetres. To Victoria, East Gippsland still has a bit of wet weather, only heavy in the far corner around Mallacoota. Otherwise, Victoria is back to sunshine. It is warm and humid in easterly winds. Closer in, there is no wet weather at all tomorrow. It is humid and warm with bright sunshine, so it'll feel even warmer than these temperatures show both day and night. City begins on 18, it reaches 30. We have a warm, sunny and humid day. To the eight-day outlook, we remain humid, warm and sunny on Friday, expecting a top of about 31, maybe 32. Now it is dry all day and for much of the evening too. So if you're heading out, if you're home by about 10 p.m., you should stay dry. Then the rain starts in the early hours of Saturday morning. Expect between 5 and 8 a.m., that's the heaviest, 20 to 60 millimetres. Showers continue for the rest of Saturday and Sunday. We take a bit of a break on Monday. They come back on Tuesday, but cooler temperatures. So bright sunshine, warm and humid, a top of 30 and absolutely lovely here tonight, Mitch, to kick off this fashion festival. <laughs> Couldn't be better, could it? Thank you very much indeed, Jane. And that's the way it is this Wednesday, the 2nd of March. Thanks for your company. For now, from the 7 News team, good night. Say, stay.